That was starring Phil Good, or Phil Lee, of Rooftop Pursuit. They did not know that what was coming, actually. No, I feel I like I should, we should clarify and say, Phil really isn't a jerk like that, right? <laughs> I think. But he can run fast. But he can run fast. <laughs> Certainly. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, and the draft, it, it's a draft because there's a part that we left out when they realized that um, Phil and Natasha are actually sister and brother. So. What? Yeah, well, that's the K drama right there. That's one more. I think more. so. That was like, you know, you were like itching there a little bit. Itching, we were gonna you know, have that drama. scene where they're like yeah. passing each other and they don't see each other. Yeah. But you might as well put like a car accident in there too. You know, she gets paralyzed and then next thing, I don't know. Asian novella. Asian right. novella. Yes, right. yes. Right. Although, I mean, to be honest, I have watched a few K dramas in my there life. You go. I do own a few too, so I can't. Our, like, our main not, audience, just, like, you know. our main audience, actually on YouTube, are they give you YouTube stats and they tell you who's watching your videos. It's crazy, actually, how much they tell you. And it, and I think 65% are little uh, teenage girls between the ages of 10 and 17. It's crazy. So tweens. Tweens. Tweens and, and and some teenagers. So that's what that's what this was all about. This so I think I, I, I think that means it's a challenge to everyone in this room. Then you know to be like to change the stats a little bit, right? Yeah. But, Raise it up by but, like 30. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it a little bit serious on a serious note. Um, the reason why I want to talk about this a little bit in the beginning. The reason why we do these videos. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, can we bring up? Rupert yeah, Pursuit? you guys can set up. Right, you're supposed to be setting up while we're talking. We're stalling for you. Let's and give him a hand. All right, all right. Yeah. 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 Um, right. So anyway, um, what let me you explain say? real quick. Um, the reason why uh, we do these videos and the reason why we sing is because YouTube is a uh, YouTube is a very powerful medium at this point. Um, every single minute, about 24 hours of footage being uploaded to the internet, and every day a billion videos are watched on the internet. And so we wanted to put these videos together because we thought if we were just able to tap into like 1% of that audience and create some entertaining videos, but also have underlying positive messages and really impactful um, stories that can really bring up the awareness of these very important issues, then, then all of the work that we're doing, all the money, all the energy and time that we're pouring into these videos is completely worth it. So that's why the Jubilee Project exists. Um, also, uh, just everyone who's standing at the top, there are seats in the front, so please come down, or you can, you know, just get like a little, uh, uh, Mosh pit, I guess, started over here, but don't hurt yourselves because Sue has no insurance. Um, anyway, so I want to take this time, as Ruth Dobberson sets up, to really talk to Eddie Lee as a director and filmmaker. Um, so, uh, I guess I noticed that you shot the video in several places, you know, around the DC area. I think I noticed, like, Bison's Corner in there somewhere. So, any interesting stories behind some of the scenes that you shot? Um, well, um, first of all, the, the pieces that we shot, uh, typically you're supposed to get licenses for this. We weren't able to because we don't have the budget for it. So a lot of these shots I like that we got... like our plugs, right? It's effective, isn't it? I don't know if I, know if I should even oh. talk about this, but a lot of these shots that we got, the bar scene, right, the scene at the mall, um, all these shots were sort of done without full, full permission. Um, That's how but, you do it. It's like the real I think the most memorable story is when Phil did his running scene. That was actually the first scene that we ever shot. And so it's Natasha, running scene? the running scene. And so Phil, it's me, Phil, Jason, my brother, and Natasha. And we're all sitting in the car. Jason's in the front driving the car. Natasha and I are in the back, hanging out in the car, shooting <laughs> Phil as he's running. And we're, and we're and so the, uh, the way it was set up, it was 1 o'clock in the morning. Phil is running as fast as he possibly can with all his might down the street. We had him do that 15 times. 15 times. And we're like, Phil, just pick it up. Hurry up and run faster. And this time, scream, scream, right? And so after we did that 15 times, the people in the neighborhood started like looking out their windows, looking at us, right? Who is this Asian guy and running out And why out are these car? two people hanging out the car, right? And so someone called the cops on us. <laughs> They came over and like, we heard stories of some guy running back and forth screaming with <laughs> the cameras. Uh, and, so, like, and so Phil talks to the cops, and we have this all on video, and so he had to explain to them what we were doing. After that, cops left, Phil started throwing up like crazy. Because right before we stopped that, we had dinner, and we had burgers, and we had drinks, and so it all came out. <laughs> Is that going to be the making of? I there think is, you should do a making a of and it release of, it on TV. Behind the scenes, oh, behind the scenes videos. Yes. Sweet. 
So we have something more to look forward to. Um, <clears throat> speaking of looking forward to, who would you want to work with in the future? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think when we started the Jubilee project, we just did, we just you know made videos for fun, and we never expected it to get to a point where we're actually in front of a crowd showing our videos on like the biggest theater you can find in Washington D.C. in Virginia area. When I first came here, I thought they were going to put it all the way to the top. I'm like, no, that's crazy. But um, uh, until the anniversary show, we're going to have know. the star system. IMAX. You know. Uh, but we never thought it would, it would get to this point, and we along the way have met so many incredible incredible people. I had the honor uh, of getting to meet Phil through this, you know, and uh, I got to go to LA a week ago just to shoot some videos for Jubilee Project. I got to go. Uh, Jason and Eric, who are supposed to be with me today, they're actually in Spain right now. Crazy. Spain, because we entered a video contest. We ended up winning the video contest. It was supposed to be tonight. We won $10,000. All of the money, all of the money is being donated. All the money is being donated to City Year, which is an education outreach program. Um, and so, uh, they're there right now representing the Jubilee Project over there. They want to send their condolences for not being here. Um, we tried to change the date at the last minute, but Jenny was like, no! So I'm stuck here. Sorry, no, but I'm having a good time. bound by contract. But no, we're, we're so honored to meet so many people, and I think, you know, anyone, the chance to meet anybody and make videos for anybody for a good cause is such an honor for us. Right, so um, I think the band is ready, but also, give it up for the rest of the band of Rooftop Pursuit, by the way. Sorry, Phil. Right. And of course, they're going to introduce so themselves. so much time into this video. Right. I'll make one last plug. Uh, up until this point, we raised uh, $22,000 for these nonprofits. We haven't taken a single dime from any of these videos. Uh, we received two donations up until this point. One is from our mom who helped us buy our first camera, and one, yeah, and one is from a girl in Malaysia who watched Love Language, and she's like, you know, I, I, that story just changed my life, and I'm willing to give you $20. And so. You know, we were able to take that and just maximize it, right? You, were, you take that video and you produce for like $50 and you were able to raise $2,000. So that's how the Jubilee Project works. And so we very much depend on you guys to keep us going because we're not doing this for money. Uh, this is the first time we're doing a concert uh, and we depend on you guys. So if you, I know you guys already paid for tickets, but if you guys have it in your heart to keep donating, we'll have a donation box in the back. Also, I want to make a plug that we're going to be going to New York City next week Philadelphia on March 19th and Boston on March 26th to do benefit concerts in all those cities. So, right, so tell your people, um, whoever they are in the cities, to come support. And also, of course, every single month on the third Saturday, please support Suru DC and all the independent Asian American and or Pacific Islander artists. All right. Thank you very much. Rooftop Rooftop